Welcome back to Face It Net. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about a vulnerability scanner or a penetration tapping tool. So, OpenVAS. What is OpenVAS? OpenVAS is an open source vulnerability scanner, which is pretty much a tool that we all use to do the scanning to find out any vulnerabilities and any any risk on our local area network devices. So this will scan the local area network devices or their uh, remote devices to find out any vulnerabilities. So then it will list down every information with the uh, risk factor, um, whether it's a highly risk or it's a moderate risk, and then we can just go and update things using uh, this report. So I personally use this software in many different cases and assessments, and I'm always satisfied with the results I get with this open glass. There are tools like Nexus, Nexpose, they are more feature rich product, but at the same time, they all cost you as well. So they all comes with a big price tag. So OpenVAS is simple, perfect, and gives you a good idea of how the vulnerability scanner works. And also, it's also it sounds very intuitive to work with. So the interface is quite nice and clean. It's a web-based thing, so it's quite easy. So in this case, in this practical, I got a virtual machine, which is a Kali Linux running on VMware virtual machine, or this is a VMware based virtual machine. And on this, I'm going to install the uh, OpenVAS. So before we start the OpenVAS, the first thing what I want to do is I just wanted to make sure my system is completely updated. So I'm just going to go to terminal and I got the commands here and I will paste it, which is the command I'm using sudo apt update and apt upgrade with y. y is in the process y button. So if you just put y at the end, it saves uh, you a press of enter, right? Every time. So just put enter and then ask you the password. Done. So now it's checking for the updates and then it's going to upgrade my Kali Linux. I shouldn't have too much updates uh, because it's quite a new and recently downloaded. Of course, I just downloaded a couple of minutes before and created this virtual machine. So this should have almost every update, but let's wait here to complete this one. Here yeah, could not open. It's a permission denied issue. So packages can be upgraded. It's upgradable to see, unable to accurate DPKG. So could be what I can do is let's do this through the root so and then run the command so this should not have any problems with the permissions right the following functions have that's all right so pretty much we have done the updates Right, the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the OpenVAS. The command to install the OpenVAS is again sudo. I don't need to type sudo because I'm in sudo mode already. apt install OpenVAS. Right, so the command here, I'm using sudo apt install OpenVAS. Hit enter. There's about 536 MB file. I'm going to say yes to install. Hit enter. So this is now downloading the package. Once the package is downloaded, we will have to just make sure to install it, right? Uh, this may need to have at least two to three gigabyte of disk space. So make sure that at least your virtual machine has a disk space of two to three gigabyte, right? And also this is going to take some time. So once that is done, right, we'll have to run another command to set up the OpenVAS. So it's just completing. Once it's finished, I'm going to use a command sudo gvm setup. That's to set up the OpenVAS. Right? So this is now at 47%. Let's wait here to complete this. Right, we 
99, 95, 99, 100% dead almost. Right. So it's just completing the final part. There you go. It's done. Now I'm going to run the Melix command, which is sudo gvm setup. Keep in mind, this is going to take very, very long time, right? So hit enter, it's starting the Postgre SQL and things like, and of course in this you will find the username and password. So you can see this is your web interface, username and password. So username is admin and the password is here, but don't worry about it now. This password will be given to you at the end of the process as well. But keep in mind, this is going to take at least um, one hour, right, to complete this process. So there's nothing much we can do. We're just going to sit and watch. So what I'll do, look at the time now itself. It's at eight, 10 past 8. Most probably it may take, depends on the computer speed, it might take on my system maybe an hour. So I'll come back in an hour and we'll see whether it's complete or still processing. All right, as you can see now, the installation has been completed and you can see the password as well. So there is a username admin and also the password is attached here, right? So you can see here, this got the admin user and the password and also it says you can now check the uh, setup to find out if there are any errors or anything that we have in the setup. So let's go do the setup uh, check first to confirm that there is no errors or not anything. If we find any errors, then of course we can go and fix those errors. But let's have a quick look, right? So I'm just running this command and it should come back and say um, the installation com seems to be completed properly or something like that. It will give you a message, right? So let's wait for this one to see what's there. Right now, we're almost there. The last part is to start the uh, service, right? So um, still checking. Uh, and once it's done, I'm going to quickly run the sudo gvm start, right? It seems like your view installation is okay, right? So warning success, pretty much I find everything good. I'm just going to run this one again. I'm going to run the command sudo gvm start right so i got the command in here so let's do it let's start so gvm cell is already running right so what we have to do is we have to go to the web browser now go to web browser and type in the ip address which is running on the local host so i can certainly i can type https colon dash dash 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 9392 and hit enter there you go it's running now i can see definitely i got a certificate warning error i'm just going to accept the risk and continue and i just need to now log into the admin as you know username is admin and the password we have here quite a lengthy password um, this is the temporary password. Of course, once we log in, uh, we can go into profile and we can change the administrator password um, so that you don't need to remember this fixed password. All right. Let me copy this, come back here and paste it. Sign in. There you go. I don't want to save this password. Now you can see my GVM is running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings and you can see here we have a password but how do you change this password there's a small pen icon here click on that and paste your old password and I enter a new password of course if you have got any password generator you can use the password generator otherwise you can just go change your password as you wish so I've changed the password let me sign out and then sign in with the new password. So I've signed out, sign out, and I'm gonna sign in with the new password. And username, admin, sign in, there you go. Perfect. So my OpenVAS is done. 
Um, so I have completed the installation. My next part is to go and set up and do the first scan. So stay tuned and I will upload another video with the configuration steps.